the Mass, the Eucharist, and the Priesthood. Holy Thursday, God speaks to us. This is my body. This is the chalice of my blood. Do this in memory of me. Words of the Consecration. Meditation. Jesus has just finished consuming the Paschal Lamb when he takes bread, breaks it, and gives it to his disciples, saying, Take all of you and eat of this, for this is my body. Then, taking a chalice of wine, he says, Take all of you and drink of this, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal testament, shed for you and for many unto the remission of sins. At that very instant, Jesus becomes sacramentally present under the species of bread and of wine. By the separate consecration of the body and the blood, he effects a sacrifice. On this day, therefore, we are at the heart of the mystery of our salvation. We are at the heart of the redemption. There is nothing greater, no more important event in all of the human history than this sacrifice of Jesus. And the most marvelous is that our Lord will that this moment be not only commemorated, but reactualized, that he be made present anew on our altars. At each Mass, the priest renews the unique redemptive sacrifice, so that the merits of the sacrifice might be applied to our souls, as well as to those of the faithful, living and dead. O oh, Jesus, what a miracle of love thou hast worked beyond all imagining! Thine apostles make their first communion on this day. They also receive the priesthood from thine hands. They have passed it on from generation to generation, to all of the bishops, their successors, and through them to all of the priests. I thank thee for having willed to remain with us in the Holy Eucharist, and for having given us priests. Prayer O Lord my God, I wish to receive thee today with that affection reverence and zeal for thy glory, with that gratitude, worthiness and love, with that faith, hope and purity, with which thy most holy mother, the glorious Virgin Mary, desired and received thee on the day of the Annunciation, from the imitation of Christ. O Eternal Father, thy divine Son has done all that could be done in granting this great gift of the Eucharist to us poor sinners mercifully prevent his being so ill-treated. May this precious oblation prevent the spread of the terrible wickedness and the sacrileges committed against the most blessed sacrament. From St. Teresa of Avila. Thoughts. Come to communion. Come to Jesus. Come to live of him in order to live for him. From the Curie of Oz. The priesthood is the love of the heart of Jesus. From the Curie of Oz. Resolutions number one, to receive communion with fervor, and today if possible, or at least to make a spiritual communion. Number two, to recite in Our Father and Three Hail Marys for the priests who baptized us, gave us our first communion, and ordinarily administer to us the sacraments. Suggestion, to prepare the children, depending on their age, for the wealth of the liturgy of this day and not forget to go to pray at the altar of repose. Addenda for Holy Thursday It is important to tell the children ahead of time that Holy Thursday is a day when joy is definitely present, though it will not last for long. Flowers on the altar, white vestments, singing of the Gloria accompanied by the organ and the joyful carry-on of the bells. As a family, it is important to express the joy of this day in a concrete manner by a good dessert at the main meal, for example, or by some other treat. May parents not hesitate to explain the symbolism of the washing of the feet. It is by the love that you have for one another that all will recognize that you are my disciples. John thirteen thirty five. Let him who is greatest among you become as the servant. Luke twenty two twenty six. May parents explain also that this joy at the beginning of the Mass will give way to sorrow after the Blessed Sacrament has been placed on the altar of repose. Our Lord has taken away from us. The Church remains empty. The altar, which is the symbol of Christ, is stripped, just as Jesus is stripped of his garments before being crucified. 
During the stripping of the altar, we sing Psalm 21 with the antiphon. They divided my garments among them, and upon my vesture they cast lots. Psalm 21:19. It is good to explain to the children that the holy sacrifice is interrupted until Jesus Christ emerges living from his tomb on Easter night. Our Lord is removed from all the tabernacles of the world. Our churches are empty. Of course, they are still places that help us pray, but without the divine presence. Finally, the children should learn that the faithful take turns during this night going to pray before the altar of repose, but only until midnight. After that, because Jesus is imprisoned, no one may draw near him anymore. Ta-da!